week's rambly you know answer to the question week 45 what are your favorite pagan spiritual books now if you watch any of my videos here i.e thursday <laughs> you see the reviews of the different books i got and how i sort of gush over certain ones so my fave ultimate my ultimate ultimate fave would be uh anything by scott cunningham again thank you Tara. uh books that are like encyclopedias like i found something beyond my reach must go farther okay. books like this that are just sort of you know encyclopedias and fact-based stuff this i found for a buck at the well Somebody who must have been getting married or something, because under veil, it's highlighted. Brides were veiled because at a transitory stage in life, they were thought especially vulnerable to evil influences. Yiggle. But cool nonetheless. So those kind of books that... But then I'm like a analytical, you know, hoard information type person, so anything like that. But I still sort of adapt those things to what sort of instinctively feels right. Uh, I'm trying to think of... I read so many now, I can't quite <laughs> remember. Uh, I got a lot of, like, um freebie books on Amazon. Uh, every now and again they'll change it if you look at like the New Age religion, spirituality, look, look, whatever. You'll get like, you know, sometimes pretty good books for a book. That's how I got the Lady Kali, t the Teachings of an Outlaw Witch, which was one of like the first ones that really kind of steered me on the right track, as it were. Uh... I really don't have any other particular author other than Cunningham, except maybe Buckland. Buckland, I like Buckland. He's a little more structured, but he's kind of geared more for groups, too. Uh, so yeah, like workbooks, fact books, the books that go to tarot cards. <laughs> uh, but anything, anything by Cunningham, definitely. He, if there's one source I trust if implicitly, it's Scott Cunningham. And just, you know, if, if you, let's see, what was it? It's, I think it's just sort of a, a, on YouTube, I don't remember who posted it, and I think it might be a couple of different places, somebody posted a video by Scott Gunningham that sort of is a companion to Incense, Oils, and Brews, where he is sitting there, <laughs> and I, he would have been a great YouTuber. He's, he's sort of that, like, <laughs> low-end YouTuber where he's just sort of, ah, we'll work with it, you know, just sort of off-the-cuff type of thing, but it's still kind of scripted. It's just so relaxed, and you just, I just like him so much more after the video, and he'll show you how to do, like, um, some tinctures, some incenses, some, like, um, mojo bag type things, and it's really informative, but it's just so relaxed and cool at the same time. So, and that, that made me like him even more, actually, seeing him do stuff and seeing the actual human being behind the book. So, that again is another long-winded explanation of week 46. Nope, I lied. Week 45. What is your favorite pagan spiritual, or are your favorite pagan spiritual books? Ta-da! Thank you for watching, and blessed be.